Welcome back to another Celebrity Suites. I'm Ethan and Ed Sheeran is dropping his latest album tomorrow, July 12th. And the title of the album is the number six collaboration project. So this whole album is like a bunch of collabs. Now we've had an Ed Sheeran collab album in the past, actually in 2011, but that was like an EP and he wasn't that big now. However, we've got a taste of this new album already and it's amazing. We've already done an I Don't Care inspired treat, and if you want to check that out, it's right here. However, my favorite song that's released right now is Cross Me, featuring Chance the Rapper and PB&J Rock. I think it's PMB Rap, or PMB Rock. I don't know. PB&J Rap would be a cool name, though, too. And just recently, he dropped the latest track from the album Beautiful People, featuring Khalid, which, again, it's a really great song. And I can't wait for like all the rest. There's like Eminem, Her, LMI, Meek Mill, and Bruno Mars. Like Bruno Mars has not done anything in a long time. I wanna make a Bruno Mars treat. Now this whole project kind of seems like it has like a message flowing through it. And it kind of seems a little antisocial, but like also like protective. Like it's cause it's about like not fitting in with everyone else, standing out, but like not fitting in at the party, like we're not beautiful people. But today I want to invite you to this party. We are going to be making a jelly roll cake. This is just a sponge cake. It's going to be a chocolate sponge cake with some buttercream frosting. Roll it up. And when you're finished rolling up this cake, it's going to look like a six. Get it? Like project six. I also chose to do a jelly roll cake because whenever I looked at pictures for the album, I would always see like the vinyl and like this also looks like a vinyl record. And the ingredients for this recipe are four large eggs, half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of granulated sugar, a third a cup of granulated sugar, a third a cup of cocoa powder, a third a cup of water, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. The first thing we want to do is add all of our dry ingredients to a small bowl. Like Ed Sheeran must have a thing for math. Because I just said add and like he's got an add album, a multiply album, and a divide album. No subtraction though. Maybe he wasn't too good at subtraction. But I don't want to do any subtraction, like subtracting ingredients, only want to add. In a small bowl, we're going to combine our flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt, and whisk it up. I set our dry ingredients off to this side, and now we can start to work on our eggs. We're actually going to divide the eggs into two separate bowls. In the large bowl, we're going to add in our egg yolks, and in a smaller bowl, we're going to add in our egg whites. Once you've separated your eggs, we're going to work with our egg whites right now. And I've got a hand mixer over here fitted with a whisk attachment. And that's because we're going to whip these eggs until they multiply. Okay, I'll, I'll stop with the Ed Sheeran puns. The, but they're just math symbols. They're just math signs. We're going to whip these eggs on medium-low speed until soft peaks start to form. You'll know you've reached soft peaks when you take your mixer, insert it into the bowl, and pull up. There should be a little peak, but it should flop over. It's more like a hill and not a mountain. Maybe we can make like a little castle on this hill. When you've achieved the soft peaks, now you want to slowly and gradually add in our granulated sugar, beating on a low speed until completely incorporated. Turn up the speed a little bit and whip these eggs until they reach a stiff peak state. You'll know when you've achieved stiff peaks when you can insert your mixer into the bowl, pull up, and the hill kind of stays like as a mountain now. Also like this is like a really good sign of a stiff peak. And the eggs will become glossy. Got it? Got it. I've set our egg white mixture off to the side as well and now we can work on the last component to this cake. This is actually going to be the base of the cake. We're going to start with those eggs that we cracked. These are the egg yolks. And to this we're going to add our third cup measurement of granulated sugar, our vanilla extract, and whisk that up. We now want to begin alternating in our dry with our water. I'm going to add in half of our dry to our egg mixture, mix it up, add in all of your water, mix it up, and the last half of your dry, and mix it up. Once your chocolate base is prepared, you can stop here. However, there's one more thing I want to add, and that's just some black food coloring. Because this album is marked kind of with like a black and white color scheme. I mean like all that single art is like black and white. And like, I don't know. It's also marked with like some funky green screen effects. Like I don't care, it's like all green screen. 
Maybe we can add some funky green screen effects back here too. I'm going to add a little bit of black food coloring to this and whisk it up. The last thing we want to do in making this cake is combine our beaten egg whites with our batter. This is going to give this cake a nice spongy, foamy, light and airy texture. We're going to add in all of our egg whites to our batter and carefully fold it in. Divide the batter in half and taking your spatula, flip the batter over onto itself. It's now time to fill our pan with our sponge cake batter. The pan here I'm using is actually a 10 inch by 15 inch cookie sheet that has some deep sides. You could also obviously use like a jelly roll pan. What I've done is greased the cookie sheet itself. Then I placed the sheet of parchment paper on and then I greased the sheet of parchment paper as well, all with butter. Now, this kind of bothers me right now, just because I would usually cut this off because I'm that type of person. However, we can use these as little handles to remove our cake. All we're going to do is pour our sponge cake batter into this pan. And I like to give our cookie sheet a little tap and a little shake to make sure that everything disperses and gets evenly coated around the entire pan. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. shimmy. Now we can pop this cake into the oven at 375 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes or until it like bounces back from your finger. Like if you touch it, bounce back. Boom. While our cake is baking, we actually need to prepare our towel. Sounds funny, but this is also actually my designer clothes because we sit front row at fashion shows. I'm going to lay a nice clean towel onto our work surface. Just like that. And I'm then gonna dust on some cocoa powder to this towel. You could also use powdered sugar. Anything will help make sure that it doesn't stick to this towel. So much for a clean towel now, but whatever. I've taken our cake out of the oven and you can see it's still hot. And this is why we laid down that towel because we now want to flip this on top of it and then carefully remove the parchment paper. It's a hot look. And now we want to roll this up starting at one end, like the narrow end taking your towel and rolling this cake up nice and tight. Once you've tucked in your little cake, now we want to let this sit out at room temperature until it completely cools down. In the meantime, you could like listen to Ed Sheeran's new album, build a Lego house, watch more celebrity suites. I'll put a video up here if you want to check it out. We are, we are, we are, we are not done with this cake yet. What we're going to do now is unravel him from his little nap. Now we want to fill this cake. I've got some buttercream frosting over here, and if you want my recipe, you can click right up there. And I've also got an offset, offset, spatula, which surprisingly offsets not featured in any of the tracks on the album. Darn. I'm going to take our buttercream frosting and our spatula and spread a layer of frosting on the top of this cake. Once you've got a layer of buttercream frosting, now we want to roll this guy back up again. And now we want to take this cake and actually allow it to chill in the refrigerator for up to like an hour, just to make sure that everything cools down and that it sets up so we can get some nice slices. I allowed our jelly roll cake to chill in the refrigerator and now we can start to cut it and get the cool design on the inside. I'm gonna be using a sharp serrated knife to do this and I'm just gonna cut strips about one inch thick. And here we have them, our Ed Sheeran number six collaboration project inspired jelly roll cake that we made today. This is like the most perfect treat to make in honor of this new album because like, look at it. Like it makes a six. Like do you see the six? Is it backwards? That's a nine, sorry. <laughs> that's not backwards, that's upside down. But do you see the six? Like the white six? Yeah. This is a very easy treat to make and you can actually collaborate with your family and friends and make this recipe because there are a bunch of separate bowl processes. I mean the egg whites, then you've got the buttercream frosting, you've got the egg yolks, and then you've got the dry ingredients. So you can kind of get everyone together and then collaborate and make this amazing treat. It's so cool to see a cake or even a dessert resemble like a shape of, I'm in love with the shape of you, but I was not gonna say that like a shape of a number or any kind of design that you worked hard to achieve. And if you do happen to make this, please share it with me on Instagram or Twitter. Also, if you have any other requests for another Celebrity Sweets, please leave it down in the comments below. And don't forget to share this video with someone who likes Ed Sheeran, any song from the new album who's excited for the new album, and tell them to subscribe. Let's try to hit 100 subscribers. Let's do it. Until next time, savor life and make it sweet. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here's my latest video, and down here's what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video.